subscribe and hit the bell icon. The Asian Palm Civet. Hero! It's dinner time! Hi, everybody. My name is Leo. I am a junior ranger. And this is my puppy, Hero. Oh, you're out of water. I'll get some more for you. You're finished already? That was fast. Hey, where's this dog food leading to? It's an animal. So you're the one who ate Hero's food. What kind of animal are you anyway? I know. Let's take a photo and send it to my sister Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Hold still. Hi, Katie. Do you know what animal it is? Hi, Leo. The animal you found is an Asian palm civet. It's also called a toddy cat, but it's not really a cat. An Asian palm civet? So why did it steal Hero's food? Sometimes the Asian palm civet eats pet food that has been left out in the open. But the Asian palm civet usually eats small animals, insects, fruit, and flowers. But now it gets weird. The Asian palm civet also eats coffee beans. And when the civet poops out those coffee beans, some people take the beans and make coffee from them. Wait, what? People make coffee from the civet's poop after it eats coffee beans? And they drink it? Yes, this coffee is called Kopi Luwak. And it's one of the most expensive coffees in the world. Unfortunately, because Kopi Luwak is so popular, some people keep civets in small cages and only feed them coffee beans. Oh no, that's horrible! Absolutely, Leo. Asian palm civets prefer to live outside, in the tropical rainforests in Asia. We should take it back to the rainforest where it belongs. Come and join us. Great idea, Leo. See you downstairs. For lots of fun and lots to learn One, two, off we go For lots of fun and lots to learn Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky! Welcome to the rainforest, Junior Rangers Ah, I see you have an Asian palm civet with you Yes, Ranger Rocky We want to find a home for it The Asian palm civet is a nocturnal animal that means it rests in the day and is awake at night. The Asian palm civet likes to eat the fruit and sap from palm trees. So if you want to find a home for the civet, you should look for palm trees. But remember, Junior Rangers, some farmers see civets as pests, so stay away from plantations. Plantations? A plantation is a large area of land on which fruit, trees, and plants are grown to be sold. The civet might sneak into plantations and eat the fruits from the trees. And the farmers don't like that. Good luck, Junior Rangers! Thank, Thank you, Ranger Rocky! Oh no! Come back, civet! It's going to another plantation! We better go after it. Leaving an Asian palm civet in a plantation is not a good idea. Ugh, this place smells. The smell comes from the durians. They must be ripe. So those fruits are durians? <gasps> that durian almost hit me. Good idea, Hero. My hat and your helmets can protect us, but I don't think we should stay here too long. Hero, can you sniff the civet out? The strong smell from the durians must be covering the civet scent. Hmm, we can use the heat vision on Hero's camera. 
We can view the image on my tablet. There! On the ground! That's not our civet! It's a wild boar! Poor ah! boar! I don't think it deserved that. There you are! You got us worried! Great! We found our Asian palm civet! Let's head back to the jeep! We did it! We found a home for the Asian palm civet! Great work, everyone! We found an Asian palm civet in our garden! We learned that Asian palm civets like to eat the fruit and sap from palm trees. So we went to the rainforest to find a home for the civet near palm trees. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. The pygmy hippo. Hi, everybody. My name is Leo. I am a junior ranger. And this is my puppy, Hero. What's the matter, Hero? Is it hot for you? Hmm, it is quite warm today. Why don't you have a swim in the pond? <laughs> That's much better, right, Hero? Whoa! Hey, is that a hippo? But I thought hippos were bigger. I wonder how it got here. You know what we should do? Let's take a photo and send it to my sister, Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Now hold still, little hippo. Hi, Katie. Did you find anything? You're just in time, Leo. The computer is looking for information about the animal. Here we go. This animal is a pygmy hippo. A pygmy hippo? Yes, a pygmy hippopotamus. It's the smaller cousin of the common hippo. So that's why it doesn't look so big. Correct. The pygmy hippo is twice as small as the common hippo. The pygmy hippo you found is a young female, so she will still grow only a little bit. Where does the pygmy hippo come from? You can find pygmy hippos in the forests and swamps of West Africa. As you have noticed, they like to spend most of their time in the water to cool down. When they leave the water, they'll look for food. Pygmy hippos are herbivores. They eat plants and fruits. I think the pond in our garden is too small for a pygmy hippo. We should bring her back to her home. Come and join us. That's a great idea, Leo. See you downstairs. Welcome to the forest, Junior Rangers. Ah, I see you brought a female pygmy hippo. Yes, Ranger Rocky. We want to bring her back to her home. That's great, Leo. But be careful. Though the pygmy hippo isn't as aggressive as its larger cousin, the common hippo, the pygmy hippo has big teeth called tusks. Normally, the pygmy hippo is a shy creature. But if you enter its home, it might use those big teeth to defend itself. We'll make sure we remember that, Ranger Rocky. Unfortunately, pygmy hippos are endangered, which means they might disappear forever. One of the reasons is the disappearing of their homes, the forests. Another reason is they are hunted by humans for their meat. Oh no, that's so sad. So, where can we find its home? 
The pygmy hippo likes to live in swamps. A swamp is a forest where the ground is mostly covered with water. A swamp is usually found along large rivers or near lakes. The pygmy hippo is a semi-aquatic animal. That means it lives on both land and in water. It's also a nocturnal animal. So they sleep during the day, and during the night they will look for food. Good luck, Junior Rangers! Thank, Thank you, Ranger Rocky! We must be getting closer to the swamp. The ground is very muddy. Let's not walk too fast, so we won't slip. <laughs> what is it, Hero? You don't have to walk that slow. Come on, guys, let's go. Leo, the pygmy hippo is slowly sinking. She is stuck in quicksand. Don't get too close, otherwise you'll also get stuck in the quicksand. When trapped in quicksand, it's best to keep calm and stop struggling. Oh no! Keep calm? What can we do to keep her calm? Good idea, Hero. Maybe some leaves to eat will distract her. Here, Hippo. Please. Please try to be calm. It's not working. We need to pull her out. But how can we do that? Do you think we can pull the pygmy hippo out with the jeep? Yes, it might work if we use the jeep. We'll also need this rope. Good thinking, Leo. The jeep is here. Okay, pygmy hippo. It's very important that you grab this rope. Catch! Good job, hippo. Now hold on tight. Katie, I think she understands what we're trying to do. It's your turn. Now, very slowly. It's working. The pygmy hippo is out. Yay! We did it. We found an empty spot in the swamp for the pygmy hippo. Hooray! We found a pygmy hippo in our garden. We learned that a pygmy hippo lives on both land and in the water. So we went to the forest and found her an empty spot in the swamp. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. The barn owl. Hi, everybody. My name is Leo. I am a junior ranger. And this is my puppy, Hero. Look what I got from Grandpa and Grandma. It's a toy that makes animal sounds, like so. <laughs> that was the sound of a dog. See, if I press a button, a sound appears. Do you know which animal this sound belongs to? <coughs> That's right. It belongs to an owl. An owl makes a hooting sound. <gasps> What's that scary sound? <coughs> it's up there. <coughs> hey, it looks like an owl. But it doesn't sound like the owl from my toy. <coughs> You know what we should do? Let's take a photo and send it to my sister, Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Hi, Katie. So why does this owl not hoot? Hi, Leo. Well, not all owls sound the same. And this owl is a barn owl. A barn owl. I see. So a barn owl communicates in a different way than other owls. That's right. But like most owls, barn owls are nocturnal, which means they are active during the night. How can they hunt when they are so loud? Of course barn owls don't call when they hunt. They also have fine, soft feathers that help them fly silently when they hunt their prey. This makes barn owls very quiet and great hunters. However, adult barn owls returning to their nest may sometimes call out to their young. Wow! So what do barn owls eat? 
Barn owls eat different small animals, such as mice, rats, birds, and fish. I see. Where can they be found? Except for Antarctica, these birds can be found almost anywhere in the world. They are often called barn owls because they are commonly found in barns. But these owls can live in other places, such as grasslands and forest edges. Hmm. I think the garden is no place for the barn owl to live. It needs a better place to hunt. We should bring it back to its home. Come and join us. Great idea, Leo. I'm sure the owl would love that. Let's go. Lots of fun and lots to learn. One, two, off we go for lots of fun and lots to learn. It looks like nobody's here. What's that sound? I can't see anything. What is it, Barn Owl? Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky. Ah, you found me. Welcome to the grasslands, Junior Rangers. I see you've brought along a barn owl. How is it able to find you in the dark? That is because barn owls can see and hear very well. They can even find their prey in total darkness, so they are excellent hunters. The barn owl prefers to hunt along the edge of woods or small forests, where it can find a lot of small animals. For their nests, they choose places like tree holes. Good luck, Junior Rangers. Thank you, Ranger Rocky. We just need to cross this water. The barn owl's home should be on the other side. It must be happy to be so close to home. Hey, wait for us, little friend. How do we cross this water? It's a small bridge. Great. What was that? It's the barn owl. It sounds like it's in trouble. We have to hurry. Over there. It's stuck. Oh no. Let's free it. Hold still, little friend. I'm only trying to help. It's the net. The barn owl is afraid of it. We should try to take its attention away from the net to calm it down. Let's try this. It's the animal sound toy. You brought it with you. Here, little friend. Listen to this. <coughs> And it's off. Phew. Great job, everyone. We did it. We found the barn owl's home. Great job, everybody. Yay! Hooray! Today, we found a barn owl in our garden. We learned that the barn owl is an excellent hunter at night and that it likes to live in places like tree holes. So we went to the grassland and brought it back home. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. Hola, exploradores juniors. Check out our Spanish channel by clicking the link in the description below. See you there.